Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Jada Toys, Chester the Cheetah, and as you can see, he comes in a box of Cheetos. And this packaging is really nice looking. It's got some nutritional values on there, but it's actually action figure facts instead of food facts. And then it has a flap that's held by a magnet, so you can open it up, see the figure inside the box, and see what you're getting. But let's go ahead and get Chester straight out of the box. Straight out of the package, Chester looks fantastic, and he does come with a pair of hands equipped. He has one that is a, like, expressive little jazzy type of hand, and then he has one that's like a pinchy type of hand. And as you can see, he does have that Cheeto dust that we all get when we eat Cheetos or cheese puffs, and uh, that is a nice little touch to add to the figure. Chester also comes with a pair of gripping hands, and as you can see, it also has little cheese resin on this hand to go along with those extra hands we do get a alternate head sculpt and we got chester not showing any teeth just straight faced looking awesome i love the texture they added to that nose you can see how the light hits it and the extra texture his whiskers are plastic looking great the spots and everything are clean we got the the nice shades going on it is a nice head sculpt they really did a great job Accessory wise, we do get a Cheeto that you can use as a fake Cheeto for pictures or just use it as a giant Cheeto club and uh, it's done really well. It's done in a lighter yellowish orange type of plastic with some uh, darker airbrushing throughout, giving it a nice little shade to it and making it look more like a Cheeto. Chester also comes with his bag of crunchy Cheetos with himself on the cover with the skateboard. That is a little bit of a missed opportunity. I wish he came with like a skateboard like or even the head with the skateboard helmet. That would have been cool. We might maybe get a deluxe version since Jade is doing deluxe uh, Street Fighter figures with extra accessories and stuff. So keep our fingers crossed. But NECA needs to take note from Jada. This is a piece of plastic and the imagery that you see on here, that's tampoed on. It's not a sticker. If you guys collected like NECA's Gremlins and stuff like that, a lot of their stuff is stickers and they start bubbling and peeling off and everything. This is actually tampoed on. This isn't coming off unless you scratch it or something like that. But this looks nice and clean. The bag is sculpted like a full bag of Cheetos, even though, you know, it's going to have like half air and half Cheetos. That's how all those chips are nowadays. But we get all this detail on this. So not only can you use it with this figure, but you can use it with other figures and other figure photography. Here we have an up close look at Chester himself. And as you can see, you can see his teeth, his little grin coming through. I don't even know if it's really a grin, just him gritting his teeth. <laughs> and again, you can see all the spots painted, the sculpt work, the two tone going on with the oranges and the yellow orange. Really nice. The sunglasses look great. Just an overall great sculpt with the head, little spiky bits with like the shading going out, spots. And the dry brushing on here, like this is a really, really clean looking figure. A little bit of lighter orange on his hiney. It's got his tail. I mean, the paintwork is, is clean. Can't say enough. It is clean. And speaking of not clean, look at those little, look at, look at the fingers there. See if I can zoom in. There you go. Look at the Cheetos dust on those fingers. We all had that getting onto our gaming controllers and everything else. If you were that type of kid. And then we got his signature shoes. Looking nice. Well sculpted. And then pow. He's got little paw prints. His little his little kitty beans on the bottom of his shoes. But this is a nice heavy figure. It has, has some weight to it. For sure. Now let's dive into some articulation. But before we do. See how these whiskers are all nice and straight. And one side's a little bit janky. Well, that's what happens when you lean this figure on its side. So be mindful of his whiskers or else they're going to get warped out of position. So now i got to heat this guy up a little bit. Try to fix that whisker to have it match and be straight. But uh, that's, that's one thing you just got to watch out for. But this figure's articulation is pretty awesome. He can have a lot of attitude. He can look left and right. 
you need it to go 360, it can if you need it. But who the hell wants their figure to be like that? Who's posing their figures like that? Be like, hey, I need it to go 360. You don't really need that type of articulation. Um, he can look up quite a bit. So if he's jumping out of the water, getting a nice out of water, or out of cheese action shot, um, he can look down quite a bit. Lots of movement out of this double ball neck. Just awesome. Awesome stuff. Now, I would say his arms can only do a T-pose, but they go all the way up with those disc hinge. Very nice. Full rotation on the arm as well. And then elbow. Let's get his head out of the way. Or snout. That's something you're going to watch out for if you're a figure photographer. Doing these straight on shots, not so much. You want to do a little bit of angle to it because the snout's going to be the focal point. Um, but look at that. Nice angle there. Pivots at the elbow, wrist rotation, and bend in the wrist. Great. Now, doing these bends and stuff, it feels like the joints are the only thing that feel weird. Like, this is a heavy, nice-feeling figure. The joints, I'm, I'm just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just first time really moving them around. Um, I, I, I don't want to say they're going to break or too brittle feeling, but it gives me, like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever had the uh grocery gang like little plastic figures i used to review back in the day some of their joints how they would bend sort of feel like this so just be careful i would say now he does not have a swivel i thought this was gonna be a full swivel but it's actually better than a swivel you can do the whole hula hoop here he can go left and right all that type of stuff it does break this paint up a little bit because that looks a little odd but still you get some nice movement out of there we got a tail tail can do full 360 can hinge up hinge down you know you can make it go forward like that which would be a little weird we do get a thigh cut there he can kick up and do a spartan kick bend the knee 90 degrees pivot at the knee boot cut ankle bend ankle pivot you get a crap load of articulation on chester the cheetah now it's time for some size comparison. I busted out some Diamond Select Muppets figures and Lone Coconuts Plunder Strong. Continuing with the size comparison, we got Cousin Eddie from Mezco. We got ourselves a Playmates Turtle and we got ourselves Super 7 Toxie. And you can see how well that this Chester the Cheetah blends in with a lot of other figures that you may already be collecting. Final comparisons, we got ourselves a Range Viper from classified we got ourselves the cosmic legion we got ourselves the deadpool of marvel legends and we got pandora from action force and you can see it doesn't matter how tall or how different these figures are that they actually can work really well with chester cheetah because if you realize chester cheetah was a animated character that was interacting with human like people so this can fit in with a lot of stuff when it comes to Chester the Cheetah, Jada knocked this figure out of the park. He comes with some cool accessories, alternate head, and an extra pair of hands. And for that price point, it's a great deal. And I would have never have thought that I would have a Chester Cheetah action figure in my collection. I grew up with this mascot, you know, amongst others since I'm an 80s baby. And honestly... It's a solid looking figure. The amount of detail, effort that they put into it. The joints, again, feel a little bit of iffiness on those, even though I don't think they're going to break. It's just because this thing is such a hefty figure that the joints feel a little bit different throughout that figure um, with the plastics and stuff like that. But this figure is awesome. It poses up really well. It's paint work, sculpt work, and everything it's the Chester Cheetah figure to have for your collection. So if you're just in for the nostalgia, just want some good figure photography, this figure is it. And I'm hoping Jada can give us the Noid from Domino's. I think that would be awesome. And I wonder what other type of uh, characters and mascots that they could do. What would you guys like to see Jada do? You know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see as a action figure. Because this thing, with the amount of articulation that was slammed into it and the price point, it's astonishing. It is an awesome, awesome release. Beautiful looking figure. And I couldn't be happier. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Jada Toys Chester the Cheetah 
action figure. If you guys are enjoying my content, hit that like button. New to my channel, hit the subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. And also make sure you guys hit the silver bell notification so you know when I post up a new video and when I go live every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern for State of the Art, where we talk action figures, all the latest action figure news, and even have some guests within the industry and some awesome artists and creators themselves. So make sure you guys tune into that every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, have a beautiful day.